starting all new at 6 o'clock with new safety concerns on Charlotte's light rail. Thank you for watching WBTV. I'm Jamie Bowl and I'm Siobhan Bryan. It took former cats leadership a year to tell the public about a blue line train that derailed. We first learned and told you about it on Monday. The disclosure came from the interim cat CEO at a city council meeting, but WBTV investigative reporter David Hodges is digging deeper. He is looking through records that paint a picture of years of repairs put off leading to problems so bad state safety inspectors called them an unacceptable hazard. David has more on what he has uncovered from the Blue Line station at 485 in South Charlotte. All of these light rail trains need to undergo this intensive midlife overhaul, and some of them are way past the recommended mileage in order for them to get that, so they've been taken out of service. Records show, and my sources tell me, that Lynx is operating on the edge of being able to keep up with the service, and even just now, I heard that southbound service is delayed and they're working to fix it. These are issues that they need to fix now, but they've known about it, cats, for years. Clear. This picture shows the aftermath of the Blue Line train derailing in May 2022. We got these pictures from sources who sent them to us after inspectors with the North Carolina Department of Transportation said the axle hanging off the track is a big problem. Letters from NCDOT to CATS describe the current maintenance problem as unacceptable hazardous conditions. That's because the records claim this derailment was caused by a defect that exists on all of the trains. NCDOT ordered eight of the trains taken out of service and no train to go above 35 miles per hour. CATS light rail vehicles are safe. As CATS interim CEO Brent Cagle claims the trains running on the blue line are good to go. He's been on the job since late last year, but says he only recently learned the trains need a midlife overhaul that's already overdue and that would fix the derailment problem. Do I believe this staff should have informed me sooner on December 1st? Yes, but public records show this overhaul has been on CATS radar for years, but was never completed. In February 2020, CATS two top former executives told Mayor Vilyles and other Mecklenburg mayors about the pending midlife overhaul. I found budget showing CATS planned on paying for the maintenance starting in 2021. The estimated costs have fluctuated from 34 million to 44 million and now back to 24 million. But the midlife overhaul still never moved forward. I wouldn't put my family on one of them buses. The new revelations about delayed maintenance for light rail trains comes on top of the same problem I uncovered last year for CATS buses. NCDOT has accepted CATS roadmap and its plan for how to fix these issues. It's called a corrective action plan, but the state agency will also be watching closely to make sure everything is followed through and safe. Reporting in Charlotte, David Hodges, WBTV, on your side.